Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to Donkeys and Demos. You're here with the kid, Jeremy Vareo, and today I am wicked excited because we are kicking off a whole new series based on this amp cabin effects loop switcher from KHE Audio Electronics. Stick around. All right guys, like I said, we're gonna do a couple of videos on this amp and cab switcher from KHE Audio Electronics. Um, KHE Audio is uh, based out of Switzerland, run by a really nice guy named Marcus. I'm not gonna say his last name because I will butcher it horribly and then I'll just feel terrible. But anyway, um, this model that we're gonna use across the videos is the 4x4 ACS FX. Um, that will allow you to hook up four amps, four cabs, uh, plus there's a global effects loop that will allow you to run four cable method across all the amps that are plugged into the unit. Um, if you go to the KHE Audio website, you'll see that there's a whole slew of different switchers that they make. They've got a switcher for every situation. This just happens to be the one that works out best for my needs. All right, so let's pop this guy open. One thing that's important to uh, remember, save your paperwork and save your packaging. Um, you will, if you have any kind of warranty issue, you've got to, uh, ship it back in the original packaging. Um, he has packed it up so that the front switches um, don't get uh, don't get mashed in. So um, I do know that the manual states to save the original packaging. So when you open up the box, and I don't do unboxing videos, so you'll have to forgive me a little bit, or give me a little bit of latitude. Not attitude, latitude. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So, when you open it up, you've got this box within a box. So it's double box. This guy here. It's taped. It's not taped. So there's a little tab here. You can see you got manual, box through all the units. Uh, wow, look at those graphics, those are amazing. <laughs> um, so the manual will walk, you, will walk you through everything. You've got a power supply, looks like. Got this uh, IEC, I don't know, I don't do this often. IEC cable, plugs into this, uh, box here, and then this is the unit itself. So you can see it's formed out, um, which is why he wants you to save the unit, or save the box rather, in case you have any kind of uh, issue, which you, know, you shouldn't. So let me pull this guy out. This thing is beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. So. You can see across the front of the unit, you've got your toggle switches or your little switches here. These are where your amps are. These are the cabinets that you switch between. And then doo -doo 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 -doo. this is your effects loop button right here. And then you have your control button here. This is for programming and saving patches. On the back of the unit, what do you got? Okay, so these are your amp inputs. So all the inputs from your amp will go into these uh, black plugs here. On the blue ones are your amp outputs. This is where your speaker cables will go from your amp into. They'll plug into these blue outlets. Inlet, inlets, outlets. These red ones will go from your speaker cabinet to here, right? So you'll go amp input to here, speaker out to this, your cabinets to here, you have your uh, effects send and returns here. And then uh, you have your main uh, effects loop input here, right? So this would be the send and returns from your heads or your, your combo amps, whatever, will go in these guys. And then your effects unit uh, send and return is here, or in and outs rather. 
Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. You got you know your MIDI controllers, you got MIDI in, controller in, controller out, you got your power plug here. So that's pretty much the setup. Um, you got your guitar input on the front. So all of your, uh, you know, again, run four cable method on this guy. Um, should be super simple setup uh, that we'll get into in the next video. So in the next video, we'll connect all of these things. Um, another thing worth mentioning is as you connect amps and cabinets to this unit, you'll see these lights will be kind of dimmed out, but on. And then as you select it, they'll turn bright red, um, depending on the cab or the amp that you have selected. Um, you won't see any lights dimmed for cabinets that are connected. Um, so yeah, so this is it in a nutshell. That's the unit. So uh, next video, we will go ahead and we will start connecting everything up and, and uh, do some basic programming.